Hey, everyone. It's Pastor Mike. Before we get to today's episode, I want to encourage you with another one of our podcasts that take you deeper into God's Word. After listening here, please check out Little Things with Amber L.B. Swenson. Amber's one of our bloggers and writers, and she's amazing at helping you navigate life's challenges by keeping your eyes fixed on Jesus. Amber is a sister in Christ, really mature, really honest, really funny, a really good friend of mine, and I know she's going to encourage you with her message. Just search for Little Things wherever you get your favorite podcasts. How can pastors say at funerals, they're in heaven now? Someone asked that really insightful question at our church's annual Q&A Sunday. How can we say that? We can't see into people's hearts. How can you know for sure where a person goes after they die? I thought as a pastor, I've said that a lot. (laughs) I've rarely gone to a Christian funeral and shrugged. Uh, Instead, I've tried to say with confidence, She's not suffering anymore. When my wife's father, Wayne, passed away a few years ago, I I tried to look at my mother-in-law and say, he's in heaven now. I looked at my wife and my sister-in-law and said, your dad is in heaven now. I looked at my own children, my niece and my nephew, and said, Grandpa Wayne is in heaven now. Was I just giving them false hope? Was I over-promising? Probably not. That probably was the right thing to say. And let me explain that by saying two things. Number one, the Bible is very, 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 very super duper competent that if you are a Christian, if you have repented of sin and trusted in Jesus, the moment you die, you get to be with God. All right, the Apostle Paul says, brothers and sisters, we don't want you to be uninformed about those who sleep in death so that you do not grieve like the rest of mankind who have no hope. So you got to know this. We, we don't want you to be hopeless. Verse 14, for we believe that Jesus died and rose again. And so we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him. All right, so when Jesus comes back, God's people are going to be with him. They're in heaven with him right now. They will return one day. Uh, Jesus said to the thief on the cross in Luke chapter 23, I tell you the truth, today you will be with me in paradise. All right, he was a thief on a cross. He was a bad man. (laughs) He was a sinner. He's actually a pretty bad sinner. And yet when he turned and had faith in Jesus, there was that promise, today, heaven, paradise is yours. So we can say that everyone who is a Christian, the moment they die, they get to be with God. Read Philippians chapter 1, the Apostle Paul backs this up. Now, the only asterisk I would put on that statement is the the Bible is also honest that sometimes we can't see the whole story. I think it's in Matthew chapter 13. Jesus tells a little parable called the parable of the weeds and the wheat where you know, there's good weeds is growing up in a field, but there's some weeds growing up with it. And they kind of look similar. And the servants of the field owner want to pull up all the weeds, but the field owner says, whoa, wait, you might not always be able to tell the difference. And in Jesus' story, he's implying that at the judgment day, the angels are going to do it perfectly. These are the Christians. These are not. These people repented. These people didn't. These people look to Christ for their salvation. These people look to themselves. They're going to do it perfectly. But right now, you and I can't do it perfectly. We might assume someone's not a Christian, but maybe they have that little mustard seed of faith. Or maybe she obviously looks like a Christian, but you don't know, like the Pharisee, she's a whitewashed tomb and says the right things, but doesn't really believe in her heart. So we do need to allow that reality that we don't know 100% for sure. We can only judge based on what we see. And what I saw up close in my father-in-law was a man who, yes, sinned, but repented of his sin and found hope in Jesus. Can we say at a funeral, he's in heaven, she's in heaven? We can with confidence. We entrust the final judgment to Jesus. But right here, right now, we don't grieve like people who don't have hope, who wonder what happened. Instead, we say they confessed Christ. And based on that evidence, we know that they are with Christ in heaven.